What's up, my rich family? What's up, my rich gang? If you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Red Rich. And if you've already been here, you're a part of the family. Welcome back. I'm back with another one of my sit-down videos, and this one's going to be a little different. This one's just going to be a little update on my eight months here in my apartment, in my first apartment. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know now that this video will be very transparent. I can't tell you how the video is going to go because it's real life. I like to keep it real with y'all on here. Um, I'm not ashamed of anything that I go through in my life. I'm not ashamed of any mistakes, anything or nothing like that. All I do is learn from things that I do. So that's a big lesson that I want to teach y'all. Never have any regrets about things that happen in life as long as you learn from them. Regrets should be used as learning lessons. So with that being said, I hope y'all ready for the video because I'm about to get straight into it. So let's get into it. I've been in my apartment for eight months now. I moved in May. I moved in like April 26th because that's the time that they needed me to move in. But I've actually, I actually started paying rent in May, right? So before I get into telling you how it's been for me in my eight months of being here, I'm going to let you know how I got here. Some of you know, some of you don't. I'm the only child. I am spoiled. Um, and me and my mom are very, very tight. So me and my mom had came from Burlington. That's where we were living um, and moved to Durham because I was done with college. And we had just got a place in Durham, nice place. Um, I was seeing this girl and I ended up doing something I knew I shouldn't have done. Um, I don't know what made me think about doing this. I think it was just me proving a point, shedding my skin. I'm not sure. I can't tell you why. It, I just know it was no ill intent. But I was seeing this girl and um, I was still currently staying with my mom. And one night I asked my mother, could she come over? And, you know, just chill with me. It was already late, you know. Um, I think she came over around like 11 or 12. I knew before she came she was tired. And I told her it was okay. I would let her stay. And I would explain to my mom that she was tired. Long story short, she ended up staying. My mom ended up finding out when she woke up, which was way before we woke up. I had already gotten a text message showing me how heated she was. So I knew then and there was going to be an issue. To get into all of that. Me and my mom ended up um, falling out behind that. Um, it was really bad for like, I want to say like a, a month. It started as weeks, but it ended up being a month. Um, me and my mom fell out. It was probably one of the hardest trying times of my life because we are so close. Um, she absolutely did not want to talk to me. And I don't want y'all to take anything that I'm saying and think that I got a bad mom or anything like that. I have a, I have a wonderful mom, okay? But um, this was all just shedding skin and a growing lesson. So we ended up falling out. And um, we weren't speaking for a while. Things ended up getting bad. I was just being rebellious. I didn't like the way she handled the situation. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I didn't like the way she was handling the situation. I just felt... Me being an adult, I was 25 at the time. I'm 26 now. Um, I just felt like me being an adult, we could have talked about it, handled it differently. And her being my mom, she just felt like she was my mom and I was the child. And this is how she chose to handle it. So we fell out out of anger. She ended up giving me an ultimatum. Um, and I'm not going to tell the first part of it, but the second part of it was, or I could move out. I didn't like the first part of the ultimatum, so I made the step to go look for apartments. That same day, y'all, I was mad. I was crying. I was in my feelings. Um, I had woke up early and went to DoorDash. Every morning since that day had happened, I had woke up every morning and went to DoorDash because I didn't want to be home. It felt weird. Um, I just wanted to go make money. I knew that something was about to happen, and I just wanted to go make money. So I had DoorDash for a little bit, and then I went to look for apartments. At this time, I was working for Amazon. I was a driver. So I had pretty much been in every apartment or neighborhood in Durham to see them. So I had options of what to go look at. There was one apartment complex that I delivered in a lot that I just something said just to go by there and look. I'm not even sure why. I actually hated delivering over here. Hated it, y'all. So I ended up coming over here distressed, got myself together. I was on the phone with my friend Tatiana. She was with me through the whole 
time of this, like, if I needed to call her, talk to her, anything, she was there. So, I ended up coming here. Um, I actually looked at three places. All three of them I didn't have a problem getting. Like, my credit was good enough to get. I had the finances to get. I had the check stubs to get. But this one specific one is the one that I came to. And I ended up being up here, like, two or three hours. And, um... I'm just sitting here talking to the lady. She's telling me, she's like, oh, you came on a great day. We have rates and specials running today. Real bubbly, boo hot lady. I wasn't even in a bubbly spirit, but her spirit just made me feel a little bit more at ease. I was still nervous. Don't get me wrong. I've never had an apartment. Never had really, really, really serious responsibilities. I was just able to save money and knew how to save money because of how I grew up. So... She ends up telling me, she's like, we have, yeah, we have a couple of units that are open right now. We're just letting people go in and see them. Um, we're waiving the application fee and, you know, all the deposit, security deposit stuff they do. We're waiving all of that. I'm like, okay, cool. That's a good thing to know, blah, blah, blah. So I go and I see the units. Um, there were like three units. I seen two that I like and this one that I'm currently in is the one I fell in love with. I ended up impulsively i'm on the phone with tatiana i'm scared and i'm telling them like tatiana i don't know am, am i making the right move can i do this you know how high can your utility bill get how high can your light bill get blah 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 and she's just being encouraging the whole time mind you tatiana's younger than me tatiana not to tell her business but she handles a lot of her own to be younger than me you know what i mean and if, if i knew i knew in my mind that if she could do it i could do it because i was the friend that was good at saving money and managing my money so I'm on the phone with her and I signed the lease because at this point, my, I think my mom had told me I had a small amount of time to make that decision if I was going to make it. And the leasing office needed me to move in here in two weeks, y'all. Two weeks. I had $2,500 saved in my account and I was working at Amazon making about $1,010 every two weeks. Right? No bill. So I was putting up good money. You know what I mean? I ended up signing the lease, y'all, just doing it. Um, remind you, my mother told me she was not going to help me with any of this. If this was the decision, remind y'all have to understand what I'm telling you this stuff about what my mom said. She was saying these things out of hurt. This was new for her. She felt disrespected. She felt hurt. And the fact that I was going against what she was saying for me was me making my adult move and standing up for myself. And for her, it was me being disrespectful. And I came off as I didn't love her which we both had misconstrued misconstrued perceptions of the situation. So I signed the lease. I had two weeks to move in. I had $2,500 in my account. Everything that I was in my bedroom at my mother's house, I owned. So she's telling me, she's like, yeah, you, you're going to get all this stuff. You're going to do it yourself. I'm not helping you with anything, blah, blah, blah. I ended up calling U-Haul, setting up me a truck. Tatiana helped me. My brother helped me. Appreciate y'all. Coop and Tot, they helped me. We ended up one day waking up early in the morning, made it smooth. They helped me move my stuff into the truck. Took an hour. Drove over to the apartment. Moved everything in here. Took an hour. Boom. Dropped the truck off. I had a hair appointment after that. So basically, y'all, would, would, to sum it all up, that's the only reason why I'm in my apartment. I'm not in my apartment because I woke up and said, I want an apartment or anything like that. I was pushed into this apartment. But I wasn't pushed into this apartment by my mama. I was pushed into this apartment by God. He told me to take a step. He told me, he said, hey, you feel like you're getting older. You want to walk in your own shoes and you want to do what you want to do. It's time for you to make those steps to do what you want to do. And boy, was I nervous. Boy, was I nervous. I spilled the beans to my grandmother. I spilled the beans to my mom that I had signed, signed the lease. And it was so frustrating and sad because... The whole time that I'm doing this, my first step things, my mom has always been there for me through anything that I've done. And to, to do this big thing and not have her there, it was bittersweet because it, it just showed me that one, I could do it and I did do it. And two, I lost my train of thought. Um, um, oh yeah, let me not forget because I, I gotta be completely honest here. Ever since I have been in my apartment, I haven't been able to accumulate the uh, savings that um, I had prior to moving here. But with 2022, I have plans of making that 
different. This year is definitely going to be different for me. And y'all going to watch the journey of that. That me not having money in my savings thing stops now, stops today. I will no longer be... I will no longer be, I'm telling God right now myself, I will no longer be in the financial situation that I'm in. I will only grow. I will only grow. My finances will only grow. My mental knowledge on finances and, and discipline will only grow from here. So yeah, y'all. Whatever. I absolutely lost my train of thought. But I ended up spilling the beans to my family, my mom. Everybody's super shocked. Like, like I tell y'all, they're shocked. Me and my mom don't we're super tight, y'all. Anybody that knows me personally know we're super tight. So I ended up telling to my grandma, she's just like, I'm sad. I'm crying every day. I went to talk to her, for, let my frustrations out. She's just like, do you think you can handle this? Do you think you can handle this? I told her, yeah, I got it. I, I've always been good with managing money, y'all. So before I even signed the lease, I calculated everything. I calculated everything, even extra expenses. And I knew that I would be okay. So I ended up moving here. And getting out of all of that mush and that sadness, it's been wonderful, y'all. These eight months have been wonderful. Um, me and my mom ended up getting back on good terms. Um, I got here to come here and see my place, and it was a relief for her. For her, it was a moment of she really can do this, and she did this. And for me, it was a it was a pat on the back, like, yo, Red, you did this. You can do this. People always treated me like the spoiled child, like I was handicapped, like I couldn't do nothing for myself. When really, I was outsmarting them because everything, I play all the time. I'm goofy. I'm spoiled. But I've always been wise. I've always been wise. And it's stuff that I know that people don't even know that I know. So with that being said, y'all, I did it. I've been here for eight months. It's been amazing. Um, I haven't had a month where I couldn't pay my rent. Um, when I moved here, I had a futon, the things for my business, um, that I had ordered a week prior. I had thought about starting this business. Couldn't even tell that to my mom because we wasn't talking. She didn't want to hear it. So all this good stuff that I had planned and going for me, I had to experience that on my own. And that was God telling me it was okay to experience this on my own. I had my business stuff. I had a futon. I didn't even have but one TV for my bedroom. I had my pallet bed that I had made. Everything that's in my apart apartment right now, I bust my tail to get. Do you hear me? I door dash every day to make money to get everything that's in my apartment. All the money that was in my savings, I wiped it on making sure I was good in my apartment. On making sure I could pay my bills. And thank God, I thank God I've paid my bills every month for eight months by myself. And I know there was people who thought I couldn't do it. I know there was because I'm spoiled. Ever since I moved in my apartment, I've rarely had to ask people for anything unless it was dire emergency or just, you know, situations like that. But living here by myself has been great. It has taught me a lot about myself. It's taught me things that I like and don't like. Um, it's allowing me to learn myself. Um, I've started a business in this apartment. I, a business that has made me what I paid for the business and back. Um, there was a moment where I was in this apartment and I had left Amazon because they was doing it was doing a lot for my body. Like it was just physically a lot and management was getting terrible. I ended up leaving that job on impulse, going to hop into another job, which was a trucking job. It was a job that could have made me crazy money, but I was uncomfortable driving that truck every day. And I came to realize an realization of that a week before I had gotten to an accident in that company truck in Virginia on a military base. So I'm going through all this stuff by myself. Never did I really worry. I just knew because I, when I moved here, I told God to walk with me, to walk with me, to help me stay clear minded, to help me to stay focused. And that's what I did. And he's still walking with me because once that happened with that job. A week later, I lost that job. They told me they couldn't keep me no more. And I was out of work for a month. That whole month I was out of work, my bills were paid. My bills were paid. And I'm not, I'm not saying any of this to come off as I'm bragging. It's my life. It's my real story. It's my real story. I was at home filling out job applications. Um, it got to a point where it was getting close for the next month to roll around. And me... 
I'm not, I'm not letting up. I've been doing this good. I'm going to keep continuing to pay my bills and show people, hey, I can do this. Not even for them, but for me. I knew I could do it. So I ended up um, getting another job on Impulse, Honda. That was the job I was just at. Ended up getting that job, working there, continued on my work. One thing about me, I'm going to work. Work, continue paying my bills, continue paying my bills. And then that job wasn't good. And I got the job that I currently have, which is a great, amazing job with benefits. Yes, I work 12 hours. Yes, it's long. A lot of people say, oh, Red, I can't do that. I don't know how you do that, blah, blah, blah. It don't matter. I make it work because I work hard. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm currently at a new job. Um, I just started off being there two weeks. And I've learned everything in the apartment. So that's just going successful. Not to get it in that because that's not the point. My point is to tell y'all, my eight months here has been great. I've thrown, I've thrown gatherings for my friends. I've had company over. I'm able to do the things that I couldn't do at my mom's house. Now, I know it's one question that y'all are wondering. Well, Red, did, did you have moments where you felt alone? Did you have moments where you missed your mom? All the time all the time but that was something that i asked god to help me with to help me to be okay with being alone which also worked for relationships too i asked him to help me learn okay with being alone and then i also had to remember those moments where i missed my mom it was normal i had been with her forever but it was okay to miss her and i just had to remember that i could always call my mama i can always go to her house she can always come over here you know what i mean so he eased me with that. That didn't last long. My bills and everything is affordable. I'm still able to take care of them. Sometimes I do feel like I'm living paycheck to paycheck, but it's only because I'm super responsible. I will pay everything I owe before I keep a dollar in my pocket. And to some people, they look at it like, oh, you broke, you ain't never got no money. But to me, all my stuff is aligned. So I feel like I'm doing the best. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a cocky way. I mean it in a responsible way because I work hard to be responsible. I work hard to be the person that I am now and that I'm growing to be because I'm getting even more. I'm getting even more leveled up with the things that I teach myself and the things that I go through within having this apartment. So, y'all, with that being said, like, I guess what I'm saying is you got to. Sometimes we got to do things that make us uncomfortable to make us comfortable. And I'm telling this to myself, too, because me moving in here was super uncomfortable. And now I'm comfortable. You know what I mean? Me working this job that I work at now is 12 hours. And that is uncomfortable. But it's going to bring me to another place that I want to be in. Um, I be wondering sometimes, do I want to stay in this apartment a lot. I do. This apartment absolutely worked out for me for the best. I was super nervous when I signed the lease because the lady just at the lease office, she seemed too adamant about getting me in here. When I tell y'all, y'all, she was moving like this and talking out fast and stuff. And yeah, let's go ahead and get you signed. And yeah, I think it's a good thing. Good thing. And I'm nervous because I'm like, well, what's up with the apartment? Like, is something up? Like, I was, I'm not going to lie. I was judging the apartment by how it looked. Knowing... Me and my mom are real DIY-ish, so we can make anything look good. But I was just so nervous because I didn't have my mama to be like, oh, this is nice. Or I like this. Or look for this and stuff like that. And I made these decisions on my own. And it's, it, it has gotten me in the place that I'm in now. And I'm super, super excited for my journey. I'm super, super excited that we went through that. And you also got to remember, y'all, storms do pass. Storms do pass. I remember... When me and my mom was going through that, and I thought it was the end of the world. I didn't know how it was going to be, um, stuff like that. But I've been, I, I literally had to take a moment today and think and be like, dang, Red, you always own yourself so hard about the stuff you're not doing or that you don't have, but you never took a moment to appreciate the fact that you've been in your apartment for eight months. I got four more months till I've been here for a year. And neither one of those months have I had to ask anybody to help me with a bill. That feels good. I was super dependent on my mama. I'm not dependent on anybody anymore but myself. And I like that feeling. I remember my aunt telling me, 
She said, look, I'm proud of you. She said, I'm proud of you. She said, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. Make sure that you keep them bills paid. Because there's people waiting to say that you can't do it. And I heard her say that, and I said, I got you. I said, I got you. And I never missed a payment. Every month since I've been here, I've paid my months. <laughs> I've paid my rent at least a week in advance. That that leasing office can vouch for me right now. They have my rent before the first hit. You hear me? Like, my friends, they call me frugal and tight with my money. I don't take it as an insult. I don't take it as an insult. Um, But all I can say is God has 100% been with me on this journey. All you have to do, y'all, with anything that you want to do, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be uncomfortable. It's okay to be nervous because great things come out of that stuff, y'all. Great things come out of that stuff. Me sitting here making this video for y'all has helped me realize all the things that I've accomplished. I've been more consistent with my YouTube. I started a whole business in my apartment, in my dining room of my house. I've been able to furnish my whole house. I've been able to find two jobs and consistently keep up my payments for my rent. I've never missed a rent payment. I've never been late. My car has been taken care of. I used to rent cars like crazy, y'all. I've been through at least four cars. This car I've had, knock on wood. I don't even know if that's wood, this wood. I've been doing so good and I never take a moment to congratulate myself. So that's what I'm doing now is taking this moment to congratulate myself, y'all. Because it's been great. It's been wonderful. Um... I remember making a video for y'all, what, a couple months ago is when I when I was deciding to be consistent with YouTube. I made a video and I sat down with y'all and I was emotional talking to y'all about how I feel like I didn't have any friends or anybody close. And that was a moment of me shedding skin. Y'all, without me even seeing like under my eyes, like I know this now, but under my eyes, I've gained, I've gained so many good friends that I love so, so much. Y'all seen them in the uh, Grinchmas Friends Party video that I dropped, which was lit. It was a banger. I've, I've grown friends, like genuine friends that are boop, 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 go to war for me. You know what I'm saying? And, and vice versa. With, with no doubt about it. So, y'all, it's 2022. And anything that you want to do, do it. Do it in fear. Do it in discomfort. Do it in sadness cry while you're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. I promise you, if you stay consistent and you walk with God and you ask him to come along with you, but, but don't ask him to come along with you and, and try to do what you want to do. You got to walk along with him and do what he say. You got to do what he say. You know what I mean? So I hope that I didn't get too off track. I really let God lead me with this video. And what I wanted to say to y'all, I wanted to update y'all on how my life has been since I moved in this apartment, how I got into it, and the things that have come out of me having this apartment. Um, I still have moments where I call my mom sometime and I'd be like, you know what? I didn't realize how much money I was saving when I stayed with you. You know, I, I, I want to come home so I could save some money, but I'm joking. I'm joking. I love my independence and she loves the fact that I've grown independence because my mom has always been an independent woman period. So y'all, that's how it's been in my eight months of being here in my apartment going on four more. We're going to hit that year. And when I hit that year mark, I got a video coming for y'all too. And at that point it should be an apartment renovation video because I got to do some new things in my apartment. Y'all it's 2022. We doing new things. I got a whole lot of new stuff coming for y'all. I'm going to have some new content coming on my channel. At this point, I'm posting a bunch of everything to see what y'all like. Cause I really do want to turn my channel up. I really th don't think y'all understand how passionate I am about my channel. And I just hope that we with me being transparent, that I can uh, grab the support that I want and uh, uh, viewers that I want um, out of my transparency and just showing my journey because a lot of things are about to change. Um, I am fearful. I do procrastinate sometimes. I'm human, but we're going to get it done. So with that being said, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Um, it was fun to make. I was super nervous before I made it. Um, it's your girl, Red Rich. If you are new here 
or if you're not new here and you have seen one of my videos don't forget to like the video it helps me out a lot y'all comment down below anything that you want to say about this video or any questions that you have about my journey or being in my apartment and go ahead and subscribe for me y'all it really really means a lot um i love y'all rich family rich gang rf mm.